Hi, and welcome to the homework for Lesson 3, Grade 2, Module 2. Get your name down here first. That's the first thing you got to get. Now you can see down here at the bottom, I've got a couple different rulers. Uh, you might have made a ruler yourself that you're going to use for this um, earlier in class today. Uh, th that ruler is going to look a little bit more like this one here. Uh, and this one here has a little sh a shading in every other centimeter, like that. And it might not your ruler might not even have numbers on it, and that's fine because we're just counting centimeters right now. We don't have a lot of them to count. Uh, if you're using a ruler uh, at home, and you don't have the ruler you made in class, or you didn't make one in class, you can be using a ruler like this. When you measure with a ruler like this, you have to start with uh your end point you have to line up with the end of the ruler because you see there's a one here but there's a no zero line here so what you have to do is start don't start at the one right don't start at the one for this end point here you don't want to put the one there be careful that you're putting the end of the ruler there well not every ruler is just like this one sometimes you'll see one like this here that has let me erase that mark I made before alright so you see a ruler that has a zero All right you can see right here there's a zero line with a zero on it right there if you have that then you have to set up your zero line on the beginning end point if you use the end of the ruler you can see here, if I'm measuring this with a ruler, it should be three centimeters. But if I start at the end of the ruler, it's going to look more like two and a half. It's going to make it look shorter than it really is. Because you're going to be counting this little space here from the end of the ruler that you're not isn't really counted on the rest of the ruler. And also be careful, you don't start on the one. Because that's going to add a centimeter to your count. If you start on the one, then you're not counting this part of the ruler, but the ruler's counting it. So that's why you'll get an answer that's too big. So look for the zero line. If you have one, lined up on the zero, just like that. If you don't, here, I'm going to put this one away. And I'm going to use this one. This is going to be more like the one you used in class. So we're measuring the picture of the fish. Put it on the end here. And you can see I've got one, two, three centimeters on my ruler. So the picture of the fish is three centimeters long. Oops. Okay. There's that mark. And then we'll move down to see the other questions. This one says, the picture of the fish tank is how many centimeters long? All right, so we're going to measure the fish, we're going to measure the fish tank. And using this part of the ruler, I'm going to go, I'm just going to use this part of the top of it here and line my edge of the ruler up. And you can see it's pretty close. It's just about right here where the 13 is. Oh, I just moved the ruler. It's about 13 centimeters across. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 3, 13. Now, it may be that when you're using a ruler, I should have mentioned this before, but I just thought of it now. It may be that uh, your pictures are not the same size as mine. Uh, sometimes the copy machines, when they print these pages out, sometimes the copy machines scale them down a little bit and make the pictures a little bit smaller. So it might look like it's your measurement might be somewhere between 12 and 13. It's probably closer to 13. But when it's in between two numbers, we look at the whichever one it's closer to, and that's the one we'll choose. So in this case, you can see this one looks like it's actually a little bit more than 13 is where it ends, but it's close. It's closer, a lot closer to 13 than it is to 14. So that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it 13. Okay. 
16. Oops, and I, that's the wrong place to write it, because we should have it. I'm actually answering the question that's covered up by the ruler. Let's get the ruler out of the way. Picture of the fish tank is... Thirteen centimeters long. So the fish tank is thirteen. The fish is three. And let's get this ruler out of the way so we can read the question. And we have the picture of the fish tank is how much longer than the picture of the fish. So we're gonna find the difference between the fish tank and the fish, right? So the fish tank was thirteen. And the fish was three. We're finding the difference between the two. That's subtraction. So what's 13 minus three? And if you're using the digits already, you might see this. But you could count it back, too. This 13, it's a 10, three, right? And if we take away the three, all we have left is the 10. So it's 10 centimeters longer. It's 10 more. Go on to the next page. So now we have uh, measuring the sides, measure the lengths of sides A, B, and C, and write the length on, on the line. So we've got side A here, and there's the line we're going to write the length on. And we're going to take our measure. End of, this is an end of the ruler one. There's no zero line, so right here, end point, and... There. there, three. <laughs> I know you can't make your ruler bigger, uh, but if your ruler ended up being a little bit short of three, then call it three. Like I said, sometimes these pictures, they shrink them down. The copy machines shrink them down, and they're not exactly um, right on the line. They should be. They should come out to be that way, but sometimes that's how it is. And if it's just close to three on your by your measurement, then call it three. We're not using fractions with centimeters. We don't do that. So that's three. And I'm going to move this out of the way so I can write my answer on the line. Down here. Side A is three. And we've got to measure side B over here. And I have to turn my ruler around. It's like about the same angle. And we'll count up. One, two, three. Four, five, and it takes right to the six there. So that's six centimeters. Get that out of the way. Six for side B. And side C is this bottom side down here. See, it's one, two, three, four, five centimeters across. So that's going to be a five centimeter side. And now we have some questions to answer about it. Let's scroll down here. Let me get this ruler out of the way. Need it anymore. Which side is the longest? Well, we got a three, a six, and a five, so it's the six, and that's side B. Circle it. How much longer is side B than side A? So we're trying to find the difference between side B and side A. Side B is longer. We're trying to find the difference. Six minus. All right, you can count that up. You could draw six things and cross out three. Or it's going to be three. You know your doubles. You know that too. It's three centimeters longer. <coughs> How much shorter is side A than side C? Well, shorter, longer, same thing. We're trying to find the difference between two sides. 
side A was 3 and side C is 5. So side A is 3 in the right, right under where it says side A. And side C was 5. Now I can't subtract 3 minus 5 because 5 <laughs> too big to take away from 3. If I'm trying to find the difference between the two, I might have, I'd have to count up. So we could do it like this. We write, if we we're going to write a number sentence, it would be 5 minus 3. Right, to find the difference between the two. 5 is going to be your mini one because it's the larger number. You're going to have 2 left over there. You could also use your ruler and just count it up. It's 2 centimeters shorter. Right? Side A is shorter, so it's going to be the difference between those two, so it's two centimeters shorter. And now we have sides. Now that tells us that sides B and D are the same length. Right, if you look up here, they they look like they're the same length, don't they? And they really, they have to be. If these are parallel, they don't really have to be, but it tells us that they, they are. So that's side B and that's side D. We never measured side D, but they're just going to tell us how long it is. So if they're the same length, then they're both. If B is 6, D also has to be 6. And the question is, how long are they together? Right, if that's 6 and 6. Now together means we're going to add them. If you know your doubles, and I hope you do, 2 6s makes 12. 12 centimeters. Well, the total length of all four sides, total length, all four sides, we're going to add them all. We have two sixes. We just figured that out, right? And then we had side C was 5, and side A was 3. We're going to add all this together. Well, we already know that this is 12, because we already added it, right, for part D. That's 12. And we see this 5 and that 3 together. 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we're looking at 12 plus 8. Now we got it down to two numbers to add. And you could just add it up as you go. 12, and then count up 5 more from 12, 17, and 3 more from there. It's all going to come out to be the same, no matter how, what order you add the numbers together in. But you might recognize this. 2 and 8, that's a 10. There it is, with partners to 10, help us out again. So we have a 10 here from the 12, and we have another 10 here with these two. That's two 10s, and there's nothing else left over. Two 10s is 10, 20. 20 centimeters for our length.